everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Superhero Mashers Hulk vs. Hulkbuster 2 pack. Now, this set comes packaged in the same style of packaging we've seen with the other Superhero Mashers. You've got the figures clearly displayed in the window box packaging along with the accessories that they come with. Off to the side you have the Superhero Masters logo and an image of uh, parts from various figures put together to form you know, a Hulkish Iron Buster type conglomerate. Then on the back we again have uh, a look at the two figures with mixed and matched parts from various figures in the line. You've got the Superhero Mashers again uh, showing you the Hulk Buster figure and how, it, how it's put together and then off to the side it shows you other figures in the wave. Okay so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. So here's a look at the figures outside of the packaging and you can see that with the added pieces on the Hulkbuster figure that Hulkbuster is definitely a bit taller than the Hulk figure it, so the scale on these are pretty good. Now th I will tell you that the Hulkbuster has these leg extension pieces which are actually removable and we'll go into that in more detail and without those then the Hulkbuster is about the same size as Hulk but with the with the all the pieces for the armor then you can see the figure is 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 fairly tall. So before we get to the Hulkbuster, uh, which is going to be the figure you're probably picking this set up for, we'll just take a quick look at the Hulk figure in this set. Now this is the same Hulk figure that's been released previously in the line uh, several times. It's just got a different, some different paint decos on it. So it's got a little bit of lighter shade of green on the skin, and then the pants are blue as opposed to the traditional purple, and he's got a little white Avengers logo on his uh, one leg. So to me, this is kind of loosely based off of the Avengers Age of Ultron movie Hulk since they've given him that little Avengers logo on it and given him the blue pants. But the figure itself, again, is the same that we've seen in this line previously. So same articulation, same height, same face sculpt, everything. And, you know, if, if you're familiar with this line, you know how it works with all the joints connected with basically ball pegs and everything. Now this figure being it incorporates, you know, it, it was a mold used, you know, in the first wave. It does still have ankle articulation. So you've got kind of the ankle pivot and the up and down movement with the ankles. A lot of the figures, the more modern figures in this line, they remo started removing the ankle articulation on them. So, but this one, because again, it's a reuse of an older mold, it does still have the ankle articulation. Hulk comes with this street sign accessory that uh, basically is just a fist punching through the street. So it's a little weird, but you know, it made it so you know he can hold it in multiple positions or you can even attach it to the um, figure and the various holes found throughout the figure. It's got little peg and holes on the top back of it as well. So you can again have, have it displayed on the figure multiple ways but primarily you know it's kind of meant for him to hold it like he's pulled it out of the road or something like that. Okay so moving on to the Hulk Buster which as I said this is probably the figure you'd be buying this set for. Now I gotta say they've done a pretty good job with the overall sculpting of this figure. I think it looks pretty good. You know, obviously it's done in a kind of a cartoony, big blocky look. It's a line geared more for kids and everything. But I do think they've done a nice job with the sculpting. You've got the vent on the Unibeam. Now this seems to be based primarily on the comic book version of the Hulkbuster, not the movie version. So what I don't like about this figure is how easily the extended pieces of the armor fall off. So these are these leg pieces just are attached with little pegs. They almost act as little stilts on the figure so they're just hollowed out plastic. There's no articulation to them and again they just have little pegs that plug into the peg holes on the bottom of the feet and they don't stay attached in very well. I don't know why, but they just have a tendency to fall out. So, you know, just kind of be prepared for that. The wing pieces, he's got these wing pieces on the back, and again, they're attached with just the little pegs. Uh, he's got little pegs on, on the wings and then the holes on his back. They fit 
much better than the leg pieces. They stay attached. They do sometimes fall off, but I don't have too much. I haven't had too many problems with them. Now they are a little bit on the heavy side. They're kind of a, a heavier plastic, so they will kind of drop down a little bit. So he's got and he's got little blasters sculpted on the side of of, of his regular hand. Now he comes with two sets of uh, left hands. So one hand has got a movable thumb, kind of like a claw type features that you can, so you can move the thumb back and forth with this little lever up at the top. And the thumb is done in gold metallic paint. And then he's got just his regular hand that's like his right hand. And it, it doesn't have any kind of articulation on it. So his right hand has like a, a a blaster or a, a gun sculpted on the side and they've used this the dark red and metallic gold paints for this one so if you want to match it up with a regular Iron Man figure in this line the best one to do that I think is the first Iron Man they released the one that's got the electronic light up uh, which was done the first wave so they're not perfect matches but paint wise they're, they're about the closest as you're gonna get and you know you can exchange parts between the two if you want if you want to give your Hulkbuster a regular Iron Man head you can put this one on top so again they're not exact matches paint wise but but they're about as close as you're gonna get you know much closer than any of the other Iron Man figures they've done in the masher line so the one other accessory the figure comes with is this uh, kind of cheesy looking uh, rocket gun so it's got a blue rocket that's removable. It doesn't really have a spring firing feature, but you can kind of push it out the back and it pops in. So, and it's just a, a big kind of cheesy looking blue rocket and the gun itself is, you know, very oversized and big. You know, again, keeping in mind, this is a line geared for kids and they've made it so you can uh, have them hold it like a gun basically. Or of course, if you want, you can plug it into any of the holes found throughout the figure. So without the extended pieces and everything, the figure stands at about six and a half inches tall. And again, that makes him pretty much the same height as the regular figures in the line. So you can see he's pretty much the same height as the other Iron Man figures without those extended pieces. Now I think the figure actually looks good without those extended pieces. So, you know, I think it's kind of a good way, unless you just want to have your figure have the height, I think the figure actually looks better without the uh, added attached pieces. So articulation on this figure, everything's kind of attached with ball hinge joints, uh, w you know, with the pegs. So the head, again, is just attached. Now, it's just got a hole, you know, it's kind of a flat piece It just fits into the peg and the peg itself has got a hinge. So you can have him look down and he can't really look up but he can look straight ahead and he can turn. Arms are attached. Actually on this one the arms are not attached with ball hinge joints so he doesn't have very good movement at the shoulders. He's just got the rotation. He can't do his arms out. He's got the swivel at the um, elbow and again those kind of ball joints so he can bend his elbow about that much. No midsection articulation on this one. Legs are attached with again the same kind of ball joints so he can do the splits that good and then get the leg out pretty good and get the leg back same with the knees and he can bend his knee about that much and he's got the swivel at the knee and then there's as I said no ankle articulation on this figure okay and real quick we'll go over you know I'm sure you're familiar if you have any of the figures in this line you know how the mix and mash masher feature works you can disassemble the figure down to the main body and then you can mix and match uh, parts from any of the other figures in the line or the, the Hasbro's Transformer masher line or Jurassic Park masher line or the upcoming Star Wars masher line so pretty much the parts are compatible with any of the different masher lines that Hasbro does and you can mix and match pieces however you want. So if you want to give your Hulkbuster Iron Man a Hulk head you can do that. As I said before you can mix up and give him you know a regular Iron Man head 
and you know again just kind of essentially mix and match pieces however you want okay so that's my review overall you know if you have a Hulk figure already then you don't really need the Hulk figure in this set so it's kind of redundant I guess if you don't have a Hulk then then it it is a good way to pick up the Hulk. I do like the look of the Hulk Buster. I think they did a good job with the sculpting. I don't like how the extra pieces, the attachments have a tendency to fall off, especially the leg pieces. I do like the height with the leg pieces. I think it gives the figure nice height over the other Master figures. So I, I do like that, but, but I don't like how easily they fall off. But as I mentioned before, I do think the Hulk Buster itself looks pretty good even without without the attachments. So, you know, if you don't want to use those extra pieces, you don't necessarily have to. So this set is hitting shelves now. You can find it at places like Toys R Us. We'll have a full gallery of images of, of these figures over at MarvelousNews.com. And as always, you know, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.